Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the Vintage Cube queue. And we're gonna queue ba Cuba. My Cuba. All right, so what we got here? Amnitaric and Treachery. Those are, those are some sweetie boys. We have, <clears throat> let's refresh this guy. Um, Life and Death, it's a good addition. I feel like I just take, I feel like I take Treachery a lot, but if it's one of the cards in the pack that looks like this, I'm uh, not gonna really feel bad about taking it. Would I rather be, bl I think him to Torok is a lot more committing than Treachery is. We're gonna take Treachery. Besides, who doesn't want to be blue? You know, you get past, you get past a time walk. I do not think Gargaroth is a first pick over Treachery. My dear friend, I apologize. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Displacer Kitten. That could be shenanigans. We have Spell Pierce, Swords, Vencer, Threat, Swaggy Bay. Coalition Relic could just be good. Maybe we just take Coalition Relic, actually. I like a Coalition Relic. Let's do it. Ooh, I like a remand. I also like an Urtai. I like a remand more though. I wonder if Titania is good enough to pick here. Titania, I feel like the problem with Titania is that you're competing with a lot of fetch lands, which are some of the most coveted cards in the cube. It's like it's like if a card said, whenever you play a piece of power, you get an effect. Like, yeah, I mean, I'd like to get a bunch of power, but I feel like other people are going to take those first. I mean, you also have Wasteland and Strip Mine, but that's not super exciting for me anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to take Remand and stay the course on the on the blue deck here. It does not look like there's a ton of blue coming, so we may have to pivot to a different color here. Coalition Relic belongs in a museum. So do you! We got Miscalc, Snapperino, A Late Natural Order, Elspeth Conquers Death, D.V. Walker, Crucible of Worlds. What if we take Crucible and try to build around that that nonsense? Is it too late? Four picks in? I don't think so. Irk said Crucible. I'll take Crucible. I don't love it, but I'm going to take it. We got a prime time. Also a Gaia's Cradle. That is a late Gaia's Cradle and also a late Primeval Titan. None of these do landy things. Omnath does some landy things. We already took an Omnath recently. Oh, Stormrex, you fool. I'm going to take Primeval Titan. I think that's probably the best card in that pack. For me, for my heart, you know. I like Flash. It's awkward that tri Triplicate Titan is in the Flash pack. I don't like Flash. I don't know why. I like Flash in this pack. I don't know how I feel about it in general. It's the only card in here that I could see taking. Triplicate Titan doesn't do anything without Flash, but Flash does things without Triplicate Titan. Let's take Flash and see if we can. It also frustrates me that this is the Masters 25 edition and not the Mirage edition, the OG Flashing primetime does not seem decent to me. Um, you're spending two cards to get two lands, one of which is a primeval titan. I think someone else has mentioned this before, and I just, it's not, I don't think it's as good as you guys think it is because you're only getting one trigger. You're not getting both. 
Uh, Deep Root Wayfinder can put cards into the graveyard. I mean, I'm almost tempted to take Free Mastermind because I don't think we're going to play Primeval Titan. Or, I mean, we could... If we don't play green, then I don't want to get stuck with uh, the other guy. You know, the other guy. Draga Tree Speaker. Fascinating. Leovold, always a pleasure, buddy. I'm here for you. And Doth of Triome, not doing what we want. Grief is fantastic, and I'm, I'm surprised it's here so late. Guardian Scale Lord is a card that has been... Phenomenal, in my experience. Yeah, I mean, I think if I was going to take Terra Sunder, I'd probably take Grief. I think I just want the Tree Speaker here, which feels weird, but... Oh, I like a Boseju. Um, I like it even more with Crucible of Worlds, if we're going to try to do that nonsense. I also do like Elder Gargaroth. I just didn't like it enough to first pick it. I think I like Busaju better. Busaju. <laughs> Bosaju. Oh, wow. The Venser came back? All right. I'll take a Venser. Shoot. I'm not going to take Loam because, like, we have no lands that are going to do anything with Loam. We have Titania. Interesting. We can also just take Sakura Tribuilder. I'm going to take this Titanium kind of hedge on it and see if it does anything for us. And we're going to try to take all the all the lands that could go to the graveyard. We have two packs. We have to well, can, we can cross our fingers and see if see if it does anything. Oh, natural order? Wow, that's a shockingly late natural order. I wonder if that pack with the guy's cradle is going to come back and we're going to get guy's cradle. This is a fascinating, this is a fascinating set of cards so far. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's a late Nissa that I'll gladly take. Oh, uh, Thrun. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm actually having a hard time pronouncing your name, <laughs> but I really appreciate the three gifted subs, my dude. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I want to just say knock. Can I just say knock? Because that seems a lot easier. Um, It might be... Noble Hierarch seems really good for a deck in blue and green with natural order. It's got to be better than Ketria Triome here, right? Yeah, we got a, we got a Noble Hierarch here. Oh, Prismatic Vista. All right. We'll take a Vista. It's It partially lives the dream for us, you know? Let's put Titania in here with the hope of playing it and Thrun can go on the sideboard. That seems sweet. All right, so what do we got? We have Prismatic Vista. Also, Zuranor would be sick for this deck too, right? We just sack all our lands and make a bunch of 5-3s. Let's I watch your videos you can do all the time. I thought I'd give something to support you after watching you for a long time. It's difficult for me to catch the... Oh, dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for saying so. I'm sorry you can't catch the streams, though. But I do try to put some on YouTube. So that you can still share the love, you know? Uh, Waterlogged Grove gets sacrificed. I don't think I could take it over Sylvan Library. And I bet Sylvan comes back. Say hi to all the mics. Will do. Will do. <laughs> Uh, gotta take Breeding Pool here. Um, Urza Saga. Urza Saga's great. We don't really have an Urza Saga deck, though. We have nothing to get with it. We also don't have artifacts to really facilitate the... I'd rather just have the fixing when we have, like, 
double, 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 quadruple. Um, yeah, there's Woodfall Primus and Ugin. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Flash Venser is pretty good. Um, is it just Woody? There's two eight drops. We have we have natural order, so I think it's actually Woodfall Primus here. I do like a Woodfall Primus. Man, we're not really seeing many of the good, the good Titania pieces. Like this is what I mean. I think we've seen zero fetch lands so far. We also do some arena videos. Um, I was gonna do some arena standard for Wilds of Eldraine. I was actually gonna try to get into some standard stuff for that. I think it's just Devoted Druid here. I don't know if that's any good. That pack was kind of kind of meh. Yeah, Flash Woodfall is actually very good. You get both triggers and you get a 5-5 five, five out of it, which is pretty sweet. I brewed a pretty sweet revision of my Jeskai Legends deck for Historic. Any interest in... Uh, I, I have interest in looking at it for sure. Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. That makes Noble Hierarch, Drug Tree Speaker, and Devoted Druid, and Coalition Relic tap for more mana. It's a creature we can sacrifice to natural order. And the ability... This ability is actually really, really sick. This is actually a card that, based on this cube, I've heavily considered putting in my own cube. It's almost like a mini Golos. Like, you don't get to cast all five, but putting like a six or an eight drop into play with it is pretty cool. I actually, I think I like it more than Garrick here. Oh, Bird of Paradise. For sure. What just happened? Chad with the Riso, 114 months, man. That's insane. Really appreciate you, my dude. Really appreciate you. Good times. Oh, I was writing down um, to pick up one Kinnon. Extended art. <laughs> I assume this guy's in like MH1, right? No, it's in Ikoria. It was an I it was an Ico card. What's that guy go for? I think it was like eight bucks last time. Fourteen for the extended. Oof. Meanwhile, the regular version is three dollars. <laughs> that's that's a surprising gap between a a regular version and extended art version. Oh, what up? What up, pernicious dude? We're having a good time. Oh, the Ketria Triome came back. Oh, so did Talisman and Lana War Elf. Good grief. This is a dual land. We can also cycle it and get it back with Crucible. That's got to be worth something. Something. Uh, Titan of Industry? Sure. You're just a big fat idiot. That's hurtful. Oh, the Waterlogged Grove came back just like we wanted. Where's the fast bond? Where's the where's the fetch lands? I think we've hit. Wow, that's a latest Seeker's chariot. I don't think we're a fairy mastermind deck. Honestly, the blue is even suspect at this point. We did not get Gaia's cradle back, unfortunately. But <sighs> what can you do? It is a delicious fresca. It is a black cherry citrus fresca. Zero sugar. I guess frescas all have zero sugar, right? That's just their thing. But um, yeah, I, I started drinking these flavored frescas in Utah when I lived there, and they were fantastic. Yo, black cherry citrus. That's right. Soda, sparkling soda water, black cherry citrus fresca. It's delicious. Fresca has like three flavored... One is like a peach. Oh wow, Ugin. Oh yeah, give me that Eugene. That's that's fun. That's phenomenal. What is this guy? Destroy an artifact and make a four four. Put a shield counter. 
or gain five. Oh wow, look at these green cards, man. I think I think we're just taking acidic slime here. We don't have that kind of effect yet, and I'd kind of like to have it. The Garrick came back. <laughs> Last pick, Garrick. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. And what's good in this pack for us? What's that? Nothing? Oh, okay, sounds good. Yeah, this pack's this pack's pretty rough. I will straight up eat a lime. I love citrus. <laughs> Dear Jesus. Send help. Jeff is having a bad time. Uh, I think it's Force of Vigor. Yeah, this card's like a meme almost. Like, I played it once. I don't think I drew it and cast it, but I put it in the deck. I don't know. I think it can be good, but it takes like a lot of turns and you have to hit, like the first thing you want to hit is Hexproof. And then if you can just have this dude get Hexproof and then like flying and then plus one, plus one. But again, like you're going to run out of these and it's only going to be a four, four with a bunch of abilities. Uh, I don't, I don't think we're going to be casting Grist. Like we have no black sources whatsoever and I don't really feel like adding a black for Grist. I think we're just taking Force of Vigor. As much as I'm not excited by it. And there's a channel. Oh, good God. <sighs> well, I'm glad we've picked up this Crucible and really tried to pick up... Like I said, we've seen zero fetch lands. No fast bond. I mean, we're taking channel here. And then hopefully that, that, that Ulamog coming back would be sick. Honestly, I could have also picked Ulamog and hoped channel came back. Because, good Lord, that's happened a lot. But you never know. You never know where the with the kind of draft you're in, you know. Blight Steel. That is a gentleman that we could uh that we could channel into play. Also, Flash Blight Steel is pretty good too. Like, I would say not even playing the blue, but we have Noble Hierarch, Birds of Paradise, uh, Breeding Pool, Catcher of Triumph, Vista, Waterlog Grove. I feel like our fixing is totally decent. Also, Coalition Relic as well. I kind of like Thieving Skydiver here. I think this is one of the worst channel targets, I'll be honest. I kind of just want Thieving Skydiver. Oh, the Dr. Pepper flavor was... Uh, they make a zero sugar and a regular version. It's strawberries and cream. I'm going to take it. I think it's fine. We don't have... There's a rainforest. Okay. Okay. Now we're rainforesting. That's a, the exact one we wanted, too. That's kind of funny. Maybe this pack's going to have all of it. Maybe we're just going to go strip mine, wasteland, fast bond. <laughs> Also, Misty's nice because if we do get Fast Bond and Crucible, um, we probably won't run out of lands to get. Whereas, like, if we had, like, oh, Botanical Sanctum. They're really giving us all the hits here. I kind of like Atraxa here. Even though we can't cast it, we do have Natural Order. But, God, do we really want to just take it for Natural Order? Probably not. Maybe, though. We need a White Source and a Black Source for that. Well, we got a bird, and we got a noble hierarch. What problem is? And a coalition relic. Hmm. Fascinating. I agree. Questing beast might come back as well. Um. I, like again, flash queen. Like when I when I flash something in, I look at the value of the two cards. I'm like, I'm wasting two cards for this. Is what I got worth two cards? And four one one flyers like just doesn't feel like it in cube. Like it's just raised the alarm twice, basically. I'm gonna take it here because it's they picked containment priest. <sighs> Fantastic. All right, well, I'm gonna take her fellas. I, you saw me click on it. I definitely clicked on it multiple times. I don't know. I don't know why why it would do that to me. Containment priest seems good. Yeah. Yeah, much better than the other two cards would have been in our deck. 
I don't know why clicking the card doesn't reserve it, right? Let me check. Let me make, let me see if that's correct. Maybe it does, but I clicked it. So it should have been, I don't understand. I'm confused. This Maybe this only happens to me. Flash Containment Priest. No, you don't have to. It already has Flash. Okay, look. This is auto-selected. What if I click here? Okay, now it's reserved. But then if you click it again, it unselect. I don't know, man. Maybe that's what I did. That's weird. Anyway, World Spine Worm's cool for natural order and for, for Flash. So we're going to take that guy. All right, so we've come back. We're not going to play Crucible anymore because that's <laughs> that was a and that was sad. This is a sad time. I guess we'll just take Ulvenwald Oddity, which is a guy. The Ulamog came back. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Probably not playing Remand. Probably still playing Flash for World Spine Worm and Woodfall Primus. I don't even think I need Coalition Relic, to be quite honest. Uh, I'll take a Hermit. Sure, why not? Is Titania any good? Man, I would have loved... Yep, there's the Questing Beast. I would have absolutely loved a Zurin Orb in this deck for Titania. I don't even think Titania is any good here. Like, that sucks, because we got Titania, we got Crucible, and we just never got any of the good pieces for it. Hornet Queen came back. <laughs> we got rewarded anyway. Thank goodness. Also, a lot of our lands are forests. Ketria Triome, Breeding Pool. I think the only the only land that's not a forest that's blue is Waterlog Grove. And we have Vista can get a forest. So so Rafelos is looking okay here. Uh yes, take off answer. I think Treachery, Flash, and Kinnon are probably the best. This is actually 24. I'd play this 24 and um just play 16 lands because we have four one drops. A Rafelos, a devoted druid, and a channel. And this actually seems pretty decent. Our top end is... This could be either a 6 or a 5, which is nice. But I think the, having these three for channel is pretty decent. Yeah, if our mana wasn't so good, I probably wouldn't play the blue cards. But it just is. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is just 5 blue sources already. Yeah, Titania might be fine. Mm. Eight, two seems good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven blue sources. And this is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 green sources. And eight, nine, 10, 12 forests. This seems okay. It feels weird playing for just Flash and Treachery, but I think they are both good enough. Uh, wow, that's a hard question. How do you count mana? Um, That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot to go into. I don't... There's no hard and fast rule. I mean... I just know I want to have double blue at some point for this guy. I could even see cutting an island, actually, because we have Noble Hierarch, Birds of Paradise, and a bunch of blue sources, and it's only one card. Yeah, I, I like that better. Yeah, I mean, like, Treachery being double blue is rough, but it's also Treachery, so it's like, mm, that's pretty good. Oh, enjoy your pizza ad. Yeah, this deck is iffy. I, I wanted to go in a different direction, but the cards didn't come. And then they ended up forcing us into mono green again, which is really kind of comical. 
Uh, Woodfall Primus and Flash is pretty decent. I'll keep this. On turn two, that kills both of their lands and puts a 5-5 five, five into play if we can hit a blue source. So that's not nothing. Otherwise, this hand's pretty rough. So we want to draw a blue source, channel, and those things. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Blue source, channel. I mean, I feel like that's a good amount of things. Devoted Druid. Come on, Breeding Pool. Waterlog Grove, that'll do. Uh, no. Get rid of those two lands. <laughs> oh, Kurt sent me a message and I was like, I was like, hey, I'm live now. How come you never, do you not get notifications anymore? And he was like, I did get this one, but I was in the code zone. When I'm deep in the code, I'm somewhere else. I lose track of space and time. <laughs> <laughs> the opponent's like, that's crazy. Nice. <laughs> wow, what an attitude what an what an attitude, man. What a fucking great attitude to have. I told him I felt bad doing it. I mean they still got a lot going on here. Oh, hex drinker's gonna be a problem. What if we still lose with Primus on two? To a hex drinker. I think they're thinking about tapping their monolith to pump this guy to a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, look. All right, now we're getting a lot of... Now we're getting a lot of lands, a lot of blue sources here. I could see Natural Order killing this guy to get, like, a uh, World Spine Worm. Like, if they go to five here. Or if they go to, if they take five here, if they go to 15, like. Oh my god, dude, this dude's attitude is fantastic. I wish I could have this kind of positive attitude. I wonder, that's interesting, man. That's an interesting topic. What determines attitude, you know? Oh, they're not doing anything here. One, two, three, four, five. They gotta they gotta pump this guy, right? Uh Atraxa was never in because we accidentally took containment priest instead. I think there's some value in not using your monolith when you're behind on mana. All oh, right, that also yeah. I think I think we board in the containment priest if we really need it, you know. I think we natural order here and just get world spine worm. It's just an upgrade, right? I hope they don't have like days. I can't imagine they have days. Uh, yeah, it's got to be worldy boy, right? <laughs> Let's just turn our two-turn clock into a one-turn clock. Am I right? Don't bounce it. I think bouncing it's the only thing I can really be concerned about when we have a when they have a green deck and they have an island. We're just playing the mirror match. We just got lucky. I mean, this is who you want to flash in, but, you know, Woodfall Prime is killing two lands on turn two is pretty good. I can help you have a better attitude. How about I constantly treat you like crap, then call you out when you react poorly? That should work. <laughs> yeah, I think shaming me into into having a better attitude would do it, and it would constant. It would build a constant sense of fear and and uh, yeah. I you know I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me get back to you on that.
Force of Vigor. We only saw Grimmy. Grimothy. Well, this hand is less exciting for sure, but it is a turn two questing or turn three questing beast. I will keep. Oh, why do they always have turn one plays? And in oh, interesting. Look who took the, the fast bond. That assumes we were in the same pod. We might not have been. I will play a forest. Pass. Interesting. Fast Bond has not done a ton yet. We could also Acidic Slime next turn. I don't think that does much when they have four mana, though. Listening to a lot of Iron Maiden and the Trooper came on. Wow, the Trooper is a, is a bop. This is interesting. Whoa, we're jarring? Fascinating. What? Interesting. Well, so long to all these mana dorks. This is a lot of mana, but they're going to get their hand back with not much. I don't know. This is interesting. I'm very, very curious about what's going on right now. Oh, a natural order, a titan of industry, a finale. Oh, interesting. There's an Ulamog. An Ulul's McUlul's. Do I have any way to get rid of this guy? Hmm. Wish I did. Wish I did. They have two cards. Are we afraid of the two cards? I don't know. I think it's Questing Beast. Yeah, I want to play Sylvan Library, but I don't want to just play Sylvan Library. Does Sylvan Library get us closer to what we want to do? Like, does it get it gets us closer to Channel? Just playing it right now is feels pretty bad. Fast Bond wasn't even that impressive until they memory jarred. Like, unless they drew a hand that was... Unless they drew, like, three extra lands off memory jar. Like, memory jar basically just ended up being five mana, put three lands into play. I think we're just playing this guy. Right, and Rafellos, of course. Let's not forget Rafellos. <laughs> yeah, they were not in our pod because we both have natural order, so. Oh, dear. Oh, Jesus. Mm, that could be worse. They do have Misty, and they probably play more land. They probably have another land in hand, maybe? I don't think they do, actually. This was their pre... Their pre-jar hand. Too blue. What is going on? Okay. Dig through time. Wow, this is wild. Yep. This is pretty good. Hmm, 
boy. Nissa Ascendant Animist. Yeah, again, just playing Sylvan Library here doesn't seem great, but it does, like, start to find us things. She comes in to play with three, so we make a four, four. Oh my god, Danny DB, what up, my dude? Man, Natural Order would be pretty sick here. We can go get a... I guess we can't get Hornet Queen. She's in the, she's in the shitter. Um... Boy, oh boy, I can only imagine what they got with their dig through time. I'm just going to play Sylvan here. I... Honestly, I don't think we have that many great outs here to a, to an Avenger of Zendikar. If we attack with this, they could just block with Avenger. We trade, and then we have no good blockers for their, for their one-twos. I mean, it might have been worth it, actually, because they no longer get pumped, but I'm going to actually hover over this concession button. Yep, that's that's all I needed to see. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Force of Vigor can come in now, maybe. They got Fast Bond, Memory Jar. Bunch of nonsense. And I like everything. I'll take out Nissa, I guess. Nissa doesn't work with any of our key components. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. This seems good. Turn one bird. We have two four drops for turn three and four. Plus, if we draw flash or natural order, we have Woodfall Primus and Bird to sack, so hits all of the all of the sweet spots. That's a good guy. That's a good one. The blue source. We have nothing to do here. So pretty sure we're just playing Vista and cracking it for a forest so that we can not have to draw that next turn. If we draw Flash next turn, it'd be great because then we can play Garrick plus Garrick, Flash in Woodfall Primus. Channel is less good at this point. Yield until the end step. No blocks. Really, I think Nissa's very good. I ultimated Nissa just the other day. You just cast her for seven and then she's like a crater hoof. Um, forest. Natural order off the top. I gotta hit okay. Kinnon. Mm, Kinnon. Let's go Water Grove. Water Grove! One, two, three, four. Play Garethy. Untap. Wait, could we have played one, two? We played Kinnon, and then we have one, two, three. No, we couldn't have done that. Don't be silly. Yeah, we've been one shy. This makes me think they're going to level up and then attack Gary. Which might be fine. That just might be their turn. Yep. 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 Can we draw Treachery? That would be sick. Stealing Hex Drinker. Yeah, this is fine. I'm not going to block here. I think Kennen's ability long term is better than Gary's ability. You still have something to play. Oh, you're saying, I was like, you still have more? But wait, there's more. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, huh? Fascinating. 
two straight moxes is pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we're just going to play Beast here and attack. I do wonder if they're going to pump to 8 here and then not do anything else. It's a 3 turn clock. I'm tempted to draw a card, but any one land gets us to activate Kinnon, which is pretty valuable, I think. Oh no, they're doing it. Yep. I mean, can we race this? Possibly. We go to nine, and then we go to three. I assume they don't have anything for one blue. Oh! Fascinating. Well, that sure is interesting, isn't it? I guess we're just going World Spiner. Fingers crossed they don't have an answer for this. You know, like a snap or something. Like, we only saw Dig Through Time. We didn't see that many blue answers, so watch, they're going to have it this time. Oh, God. I just wanted 15 power on the board, that's all. They don't have enough for Crater Hoof. There's a Bajuju. Is there a green mana tithe? No. That's not gonna do it. That's oh, they're just they're just pumping their board to get the to get the So this guy can't this guy you'd have to block with this guy if you're gonna block it. And this guy would still kill you if you only block with these. So six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is just this is just lethal. You have to block here, and that because of that, that means these two here would not do anything. Wow, World Spine Worm is a beating this game. Yeah, this guy got trampled though. Nine to you, correct. Let's do that. Oh man, woof! I'm gonna say good games. This person was. Uh... Oh, it doesn't say it anymore. That's weird. I couldn't chat. I tried. Man, that was a world spine worm, dude. World spine worm. Looks like tree farm versus tree farm. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. Good old homeschool Joey, you know, always coming through with the with the jokes. Dude, I went outside to let the dogs out, and it was so breezy. It was beautiful. Apparently, it's like 77 degrees right now. That sounds fantastic. Just gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, Danny with the gifted subs, my dude. Really appreciate it, buddy. 40, 157% humidity. That sounds good. Strix, where are Storm Stormrix, where are you? <laughs> Happy five subs. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've I've made a new sub goal so that people can feel like they're actually contributing to something. I think it's I think it's a lot more encouraging to sub or to like give subs or whatever you want to do when you can see an actual goal, like so that someone's trying to get to, you know? It feels like you did your part, you know, it's really interesting. Um, psychologically, but also I've hit it like, 
every day since implementing it, which has been super sweet, but I've, I've made it pretty modest too. Five subs is pretty modest. I just figure if I want to keep streaming, that's probably what I want to be at. This hand is pretty rough. Let's mulligan. This hand is pretty good. Let's keep it. So. Thank you. What are we pitching here? Probably Ketria Triome. Dunzo. Oh, Shua Garner with the resub. 24 months? That seems low for Shua Garner. I would have expected longer. Especially for how many sodas we've, we've spoken about, you know? Let's play this guy. Next turn we can play Upgrade into Birds. And then Kin and Bonder, actually. Kin and Bonder Prodigy makes both of them uh, add more. It is longer, but Twitch hates me. <laughs> hmm. Fair. <laughs> Touche. What's our opponent doing? Shadowy Shadow is our opponent's name. Oh, wow. City of Traitors into Mana Crypt, huh? Oof. Uh, you can have Scrubland. Oh, wow. That's really, that's really fascinating. So now we can do this. Tap you and then go this guy and this guy. And if I play Kinnon, it's one, two, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So it's free. It's basically free because we're going to net mana from both of these guys. And they lost the flip. Man, we're winning everything. I just want to hit like a Primeval Titan or something. I guess we have Flash, so let's just hit World Spine Worm. Or Woodfall Primus, being able to kill Karn and Mana Crypt, you know? Uh, you can have Underground Sea. I'm just going to keep giving you the lands that you have to get rid of your traders to play. All right. Scrubathy is gone. Lingering souls. Fascinating. All right. Actually, forest is pretty good. Wait, can we play Kinnon and then activate Kinnon? Because that seems pretty good. I believe we can. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, so we can go like this. Blue... One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that was pretty good. That was pretty bad. <laughs> How are we going to whiff in this deck? Come on, man. <laughs> what? How? Unbelievable. Zero creatures. How many creatures are even in this deck? This is unreal. Is this going to tell me? No, you're not going to tell me. Ugh, God. What are the odds, man? Well, apparently they're 100%. Fantastic. Oh, Soaring. They're doing well for themselves with Mana Crypt, Soaring, City of Traitors, Turn 1 Karn. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, fucking teach me. Come on, something to flash. <laughs> Having a good time. Having a good time.
Flash is getting to a point where I might as well just put it into play for free. I, might as well, I can just cast anything I can flash, you know? Five, huh? Well, I guess I'll take it. We could have been upgrading this to like not uh, to be able to block because it's a one. It'd be one to four. I, I never actually. I always forget to do that. Yep. Oh, good. I'm glad you played this post combat so that I took one less damage. Though that's nice. Yep. All right. Fantastic. Wow. This has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She makes eight eights. Is that going to be enough to do anything? I mean, she'll probably die. They lost the flip. Maybe they can just die to their own their own mana crypt, huh? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Seven. Well, I, I'll, I'll correct you that a force of nature was a six mana eight eight. Cool. Phenomenal. Uh, yep. Doesn't matter because that'll develop the game. Wonderful. Wonderful. Force of Vigor, let's bring you in immediately. Fantastic. Okay, creatures we could have hit, even if they sucked. We had these, this guy. Let's put the creatures that we could have hit in this pile right here. Hornet Queen, Woodfall Primus. It's non-human creatures, right? God, that set hates humans. World Spine Worm, Ulamog, Blight Steel, uh, Questing, Ignoble, none of these are humans. Uh, Devoted Druid would have counted. Rafelos would have counted. We had 11 hits. 11 hits and presumably like 30 cards. So like 33% chance. And we looked at five cards. So, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a good amount. All right. Yeah, Magic's a great game, but if people don't think it's pay to play, like they're only kidding themselves. But then again, that you know, on the, on the on the other hand, you can play Magic however you want. Like you can play at your kitchen table and play like whatever rules you want to implement like whatever limitations and and restrictions on deck building you want like you can definitely play magic however you want to but if you're going to an event where people have the goal of winning you're definitely gonna experience some some pay to play that's interesting that's what good in there come on flash flash thompson You got it. Wow, this this start is much less explosive from them. Watch, gonna be three lands. Ready? <laughs> it's basically three lands. All right. Well, I'm paying for life to keep this, and I'll put this on top. Play this. Play this. Now we're getting there for two. Shoot.
They're basically dead. That's pretty good. You know what else is good? Just stealing that thing. All right, now we get two new looks. Okay, you're going on top. You're going on top. You're coming down. Get in the forest. One, two, three, four, five. Give me this thing. That's all I got. Wow. So the last two looks with Sylvan Library were Forest, uh, Forest, Forest, Ignoble Hierarch, then Forest, Forest, Prismatic Vista. Oh, we just win. All right, cool. Well, that was satisfying. I wonder if Deep Forest Time is like better than Acidic Slime here. Like, I appreciate that they have a bunch of... We also... Keep in mind, we also only have 16 lands. We do not have a ton of lands. We are actually underplaying our lands. Yeah, let's take out Acidic Slime. This is far more impactful, I think. Maybe I'm just undervaluing Hermits. I mean, being able to kill, like, their Soul Ring or their Everflowing Chalice on turn 5 doesn't just doesn't seem, like, super effective. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. This hand's pretty rough. We can definitely do better. This hand is very good. I think we're going to have to put back Tretch. We have no blue sources. But turn one, Draga Tree Speaker into Pump into Rafellos seems pretty good. All right. Boy, that seems good. Oh man, you're really, you're really living your best life here. Wow, really? <laughs> Phenomenal. Another play you would not have been able to do if the signets were still in the cube. Cool. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. If we play this next turn, we can actually play Ugin. Emergency downtime in an hour and 50 minutes. Oh, well, that's a bummer. It's an emergency. Um, I still think I just want to play Questing Beast here. So they can swords it. All right. God, I don't know why, but Urza just feels so demoralizing. I mean, Mana Drain does too. This felt like a really good Ugin hand, right? Like we would have been able to go one, two, three, four, five. Rafelos was adding another three, which is eight, and then we were able to play Ugin. Like, eh, but then they managed Rain Ugin, and that would have been even worse. Let's 
get a Ketria Triome. Oh, it's Uncle Woody. Do you think they're going to try to hit off of Urza here? And they didn't do anything else. I'd be very curious. Please don't call it Uncle Woody. Well, that's his name. I don't think we play this. I think we can keep it in hand in case we need it. And then if we need it as a land, we can play it. I have eight mana. It's a lot. I'd be surprised if they did nothing with it. Venser. Sure. Okay, they have one card. Well, two now, but... Still. Spin the wheel. You get in there? I mean, I feel like you guys are just talking about Tithe, which searches for planes. Uh, yeah, we're just taking five here. Well, that's nice, because we still get to keep... We have to actually go tap, untap. Do we have, they have two cards? What are the odds one's a counter spell? Is it 100%? It's 1,000%, right? Yep, of course it is. Cool. Enjoy your enjoy your matches. Have a good time. <sighs> Fantastic. I have a torrential gear hulk in hand. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I'm so incredible. I drew my soul ring every game. Yeah. All right. Good times. Be more upbeat. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. Well, you know what they say. Down here, salt is a way of life. Oh God, what a, that's a creepy thing to say. Dear God, don't say that. I didn't know Tithe was a card, but yeah, that's similar. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's basically a one-time land tax for two planes for one mana. It also just gets planes, so you can get Hollowed Fountain, you can get Godless Shrine, things like that. Like the way you die, boy. It's true. All right, welcome back to round three. We're playing Edwin JVDQ. Makes makes sense. Oh god, we're just gonna keep this because we need one land and we're on the draw. Oh, we need one blue land though. Don't care. We got all the makings of a of a beautiful a beautiful flash. Ketria Trium right off the top. I'll take a noble hierarch actually. 
a forest was not what I was asking for, unfortunately, but it is land. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna reanimate on us. What is the worst that could happen, right? Oh, you're a turn late, but you're still here. And I accept you. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Good times, great oldies. Discard a gristle brand on the track, so that's pretty good. And here she comes. She's doing a lot of things. That's better than what I have. Hmm. Well, if we hit a land, we can natural order for like Woodfall Primus to kill the animate dead. That's actually pretty good. We do lose our blue source in that situation. So I'd like to think we have a lot of outs here. We have 14 lands out of 31 cards. It's basically a coin flip. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Okay, so they're taking flash. That's good. Good for you. What did you put in the hand? Shieldred, Corpse Dance, Inquisition, and Swamp. Corpse Dance, Shieldred, and you played the Swamp and the Inquisition. So we know you have Corpse Dance and Shoulder. Yep, there goes Flash. Great. Great. Land for order. Coin flip one. Perfect. It's gotta be Woodsy, right? Actually, Hornet Queen might not be bad. This 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 chick don't got trample, right? Woodfall takes care of it, then they can corpse dance her back, which is fine. I don't think I care about that. But Hornet Queen gives us blockers for everything. I think it's actually Hornet Queen here. We also have Acidic Slime in hand. Yeah, let's get let's get horny. <laughs> I felt bad saying it. I mean, shoulder is probably going to be obnoxious. The green deck does not have a great answer for a shieldred. Let's get what now? <laughs> oh, Lord. We have a good time. What in the earth? What am I missing here? She ain't got first strike. Did you say horny on the internet? No? Oh, good. I have nothing to play. Let's get in there with my little bees. No? Nothing? Okay. I don't think we can win this game. I think we're just too far behind here. I might want another blue source just for this thing. Just because you want it early. You want to be able to hit that combo on turn. Do we have channel in this deck? I literally forgot we have channel because... Oh, for fudge sakes. Oh, and they're buying it back? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna scoop here. Corpse Dance with buyback is just brutal. <sighs> fudge. Yeah, I'm bringing in another island for another forest. I would love my kingdom for a scavenging ooze here. Curry, this is a super long message. Let me read this in a minute.
Did I submit? Oh, maybe I didn't submit. I thought I submitted. I thought I submitted. <laughs> Scavenging his kingdom sounds like it would have ants. It does, doesn't it? It's not great. I'm going to crack this now because I just don't feel like drawing more. I, I want to. Oh, we actually have Sylvan Library. That was stupid. Oh, my God. What a dumb dumb. <laughs> I was like, I want to minimize the lands we hit with Sylvan Library. But then I'm like, oh, wait, that's literally just meant to. Magic has so many different strategies and tips and tricks. that it's really hard to remember them all and like, keep them all in my small little brain. Phenomenal. I will pay for it to keep. Put you on top, and we'll just play our fellows. What are the odds we get hit with an Archon? It kills both of our creatures. I think it's going to be 100%. Here we go. Concealing Curtains. We're going to take my Woodfall Primus, then we're going to draw the last forest that was on top of our library. So that's pretty good. Yep, there it is. Ah! <laughs> Fucking four lands in hand. Wonderful. I mean, I guess we're going to just mitigate some damage here by pitching an island. Come on, Ugin in the top three. Questing beast. Oh, God. You know what? We got to put the threats on the board. We go to seven, but we have plenty of cards to pitch to this and we can block this guy. So unless they have Archon of Cruelty with a reanimate spell, we're totally fine, right? Ready? Are you ready? Inquisition. They're making sure the coast is clear before they reanimate Archon and just murder us. Okay. I'm ready for it. I know you're going to do it. They played a swamp. That ain't it. Okay. Maybe they're not going to do it. Oh, they're not doing it. Okay, what are we getting here? Yes. Oh, well, that's cool. We just win, don't we? Put on top and put on top. Then you put everything on top. Oh, we're going to play this for the forest. Well, that'll do. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I think you're still dead. Yeah, okay, negative nine sounds good. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> See, this is why I think Nissa's great. Like, Nissa's actually, she works as a crater hoof. She makes as a, she works as a good creature uh, producer, token producer. She can destroy artifacts or enchantments, and she costs five. Like, you can essentially play this for five, six, or seven, and she's just better at each point.
Oof. This hand is rough. I'm pretty sure we can't keep this. Like, Noble Hierarch, this is great if we hit Flash. If we hit Natural Order, it's good. It does nothing. This seems better. Um, I'm actually going to pitch Nissa here. Now we have a good channel target. We have Treachery. We still have Noble Hierarch. Treachery seems exceptionally good against them. Okay, I'd prefer something that's not acidic slime because it's a little expensive. You got it. Also, if they play like Animate Dead or something, we have a Seiju, so. Wow, that's extremely rude. Uh, well, now I just want to play Rafellos here, I guess. That's a bummer. <laughs> oh, they killed her fellows too. Wow, they're doing very good for themselves. Very well for themselves, let's say. Phenomenal. Can we hit that channel that was in our deck? I don't think we drafted it, actually. I'll have to check the deck list after. Hold on, we can check it now. Uh, change my deck. Yeah, there it is. It's in there. Weird. I haven't seen it. Well, they do have two cards. It's not the best. Oh yeah, no attacks, beautiful. Chariot again, I like that. All right, these are some good draws. This is an easy attack here. This actually might just get me there. This puts them to 12, and then we have Chariot and Questing Beast. Sure. Kitty cats are coming. Would love a blue source, would love a channel, would love a natural order. Blue source, channel, natural order. That's none of those things. It's literally a green source. We're still alive. I feel like we've drawn just... They've drawn bad, but we've drawn a little bit better. Oh, yeah, you get nothing. Our hand is... Our hand is terrible. But we get to Acidic Slime next turn and take them off a of land. That's good when they only have seven. <laughs> that was just real life. One, two, three, four, five... A city. We did that because we get to attack with an extra guy this turn.
Yeah, they're just going to three because I think they need this on board. I think they have a reanimate spell in hand and they're just hoping to hit a big fat creature. And we just win. Wow, I did not think we were going to win that game. That was the most ridiculous hand that I think we could have drawn and we still got there. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, youtube.com slash franklapore, anywhere you find magic content. Check me out. I'll see you next time.